In this video, we will be studying about the characteristics and nature of financial statement. See, uh, what are the characteristics of the financial statement? Number one, it is related to the past period. It is related to past period, uh, which means that whatever the recordings that you have done are of the past date journal you have made for let's suppose day uh, 3 11 2016 but you will be making your final accounts pnl accounts at 31st march 2017 for that accounting year so this tells you that your financial statement uh, statements are related to the past period second comes monetary in terms monetary term which means they are expressed in the terms of money everything that you take in pnl account or balance sheet the, the unit is rupees that you take it in the terms of money then your profitability is shown by your profit and loss account whereas if i talk about the financial position it is shown by your balance sheet balance sheet now let's talk about the nature of financial statement what is the nature of financial statement number one is your recorded facts which means see the term recorded fact means that the data used for preparing financial statements are drawn from accounting records which means anything that is related to cash in hand cash at bank b or debtors all are through the recorded facts you record the them into the journal entries then you make ledgers then you make trial balance and then you take it into the profit and loss account so these are basically from the recorded facts accounting conventions See, accounting conventions imply certain fundamental accounting principles which have gained wide acceptance and which are followed while preparing financial statements. If I talk about the, uh, you know, convention of conservatism, which tells you that future losses should be anticipated in the book, whereas future profits should not be taken into consideration until unless you do not earn them in real. So the same way there are many of the accounting conventions that uh, what are the uh, you know values that you are taking what are the methods that you are taking for the depreciation all such things. Third is your personal judgment. See it depends upon the accounts officer or it depends upon the person uh, finance officer in of your company that what are the methods that you will be adopting if you are taking depreciation so will you be adopting the straight line method or written down value method if you have to calculate the inventory what kind of method uh, you will be applying to it that depends upon the personal judgment of your particular officer so your nature of financial statements also depends upon the personal judgment of your company's management I hope you like our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.